Welcome back guys and in this lesson I'm going to show you that how you can insert comments in your word document. So you can see over here on our on our review tab that we have our tracking option over here tracking section and right on the left side of our tracking section we have the comments section as well and this is all on our ribbon. So in our comments section you notice that we have only one option that is not blurred which says new comment and the other op options are delete previous next and show comments so this is because we don't have any comment so we cannot delete any, any comment we cannot move to the previous comment we cannot move to the next comment and we cannot also show the comments because we don't have any comment created on our word document so let's create a comment so first of all how can you create a comment so for example, let's highlight this specific test text over here and click new comment. So on this text, it will create a new comment on our reviewing pane on the right side of our Word document page. So let's insert a comment that explain this please. So this means that if I'm the next second author which is checking this document and I need the explanation of this, I can easily write explain this please. I can click a new comment and this will create a new comment on the same text and I can also write please make this in italic let's fix this over here great so you can see that I have two comments over here which are right one is on the top and one is on the bottom so this is the comment of the first author this can be comment of the second author but over here it is the comment of the same author which is Sayed Ali and Sayed Ali that I'm using right now so if I move over here you can see that I have made the first change in our previous lesson and this change also I did in the previous lesson and in this lesson I inserted this comment and all the comments will be piled up in the same balloon on our navigation pane on the right side of our page regardless of how many comments there are so now I can move to the previous comment and the next comment so the show comments is still blurred over here because I have only one comment on this page and you can easily see that this comment is only on this page and I don't have new comments and I don't have multiple page pages on which I have different comments. So this is how you can easily track comments and create comments as well. So I hope you learned. I hope you enjoyed this lesson as well. and. Stay tuned, stay focused, let's move to our next lesson.